Hi everyone, welcome back. I have a fun video because it is my June favorites video and I have this itch to shop lately, so I have been shopping and I'm gonna show you what I got. So, you know, it's really funny. I have had this major itch to shop, I think because I spent the past year and a half making some really practical shopping decisions. And so I was kind of like, okay, I'm starting to get out more. I'm starting to go to restaurants and I'm starting to have more work meetings and stuff and just seeing people in general. I need to buy some real clothing. So I went to the mall and one of the first stores that I went to was Aritzia, which I actually don't shop at the mall too often. Like even pre-pandemic, I was never really like a mall shopper, but I had this itch, right? So I go into Aritzia, I'm starting to look for normal clothing. And when I say normal, I'm saying like, dresses, maybe some pants and slacks, new shirts, that kind of stuff, right? And I ended up walking out with like four pairs of sweats. So I got, you know, like this buttery yellow sweatshirt with matching shorts. I got a teal hoodie with matching shorts. I even got some of their like spandex leggings that I saw, you know, this, um, this girl I, I love following on Instagram named Brittany. She was saying they're essentially like skims, but they're more affordable and you can get more color options and all that kind of stuff. So I bought a pair of those too. I bought black, I'm boring. I just wanted to try it out first. Love them. They're so good. I wear a size medium for reference. I'm a size 26, 27 in jeans. So if you're considering them, that's what I bought. I'm a size medium, by the way, in all of the shorts specifically, not the actual sweats. I actually bought one pair of sweats that are like these white pretty ones. They're more of like a boyfriend cut. So I got those in a size small and they're perfect. I've been wearing them all over my social media. I've like shot two videos with this like yellow sweatsuit on and I didn't even realize it. I just love it so much. It's all I've been wearing. All right, next up, I have fully embraced the bucket hat trend completely, 100%. Bucket hats have been back for a few months and I've embraced it so much that I have now like three different colors, but I was going like the safe route, getting like white, maybe like a beige. Now I have this one, it's more of like a dingy mustard yellow and it's like frayed at the ends and stuff. I actually got it on Amazon and I like it. You know, it's like a, a little sun protection slash just kind of cute. I'm embracing it. I love the bucket hat. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. Do you like bucket hats? Are you here for it? Should I get more colors? Cause I'm, I'm feeling it. I even got one for Nikosh. I am not a full blown sneakerhead. I like sneakers. I do. I like sneakers. Do I go and spend a lot of money on sneakers? No, but my husband found this pair of Nikes for me. He's really into all of this and they are so unbelievably adorable. He actually had to get them off of a secondhand shop. These are the Nike Dunk Low sneakers in Barely Green, and they sold out immediately. They're limited edition, but you can still get them on all of these different sites, which is where my husband kind of, that's the route that he took for these. And they are just so cute. First off, they're just super comfortable, but they have this like almost creamsicle look to them. It's like a mint green, and then like this little like, you know, orangey, sherbet orangey swoop and stuff. I love them. Unfortunately, I spilled soy sauce on them yesterday, which I cannot believe because I never spill soy sauce on my shoes. But of course I happen to be wearing these beautiful sneakers. I spilled soy sauce all over there. It's like on the shoelaces. It's on the inside of the shoes. I don't know how I did that. So if you guys have recommendations on how to clean your sneakers without ruining them, please let me know because these are brand new. I've worn them three times and I can't believe I already ruined them. Next up. I'm starting to feel my age. I had to go see an optometrist and he told me I need glasses. So I decided to get some really nice glasses. I got these from Celine. They are prescription. I am nearsighted. And I'm really, I'm really proud of these glasses. I'm still adjusting to them. I use them when I watch movies at night and I use them to drive at night, which I don't actually do too often. And I'm feeling it. What do you guys think? You like me and my glasses? Who's wearing glasses these days? It's a new look for me. Next up. I like to have some type of a protein bar with me at all times because I just think it's a really easy way to get quick nutrition into your diet. It's something that started happening as I became a mom. You know, like I started always carrying snacks, especially while I was breastfeeding, both of the times I was breastfeeding because you're just always hungry and you don't wanna find yourself eating trash because that's exactly what happens when you get really hungry and ravenous. You're like, give me French fries and cheeseburgers now. So instead of doing that, I have started to carry protein bars with me all the time, but not all protein bars are delicious. Some are disgusting as I have come to find. I have been loving these protein bars from a brand called Alani New. I think I'm saying it right, Alani New. I think new is basically short for nutrition. I love all of the protein bars I have tried from them. They are 
delicious. The brand sent me a whole package of like a sampling of their stuff and I was like, mm, eh, whatever, like I'm maybe I'll try it. It's probably gonna taste like disgusting diet food. These are delicious. Like this flavor right here is munchies, which is my favorite of all of them. I wanna like maintain your expectations here. It's, it's not a candy bar, but for a protein bar, it's close. It really is close. It's delicious. I love eating these. They have other flavors. I have the peanut butter crisp. I have chocolate cake here. I have confetti cake, which I actually have not tried yet. I haven't opened this one. Cookies and cream, which is also delicious. They make such delicious protein products. The brand actually just sent me their fit shakes also, which are like pre-made protein shakes essentially. And they sent me the munchies flavor. So good. Whenever I go into the office and I'm in a hurry and I don't have breakfast, I just drink one of those on the way in. Solid. It is so good. I really recommend you check out this brand. Next up, I have candles. You guys know I love candles. I'm always talking about candles. I had so many candles to get through that I hadn't placed any orders recently, but I had been wanting to order some Forever Mood for the longest time. I'm a huge fan of Jackie Ina. If you don't know who she is, how do you not know who she is? She is a huge YouTuber and I mean, just she just has a huge social media presence in general. I love Jackie's personality. I think she is just a badass and everything that she does, I'm always kind of like, you know what? Yes, I love you. So of course I wanted to support her as soon as I saw that she, you know, she launched Forever Mood. I actually tried to place an order in the very beginning and that it just like sold out completely. So then I was like, okay, I can wait a second. I can, I can be patient. So I finally got around. I, I, I subscribed to the newsletter and I got a newsletter from them saying that they had this like spring box that was coming. So I placed an order for the spring box and I got four different candles. That way I could just try a few right away. This one is Spring Fling. It has this nice crisp, like citrusy scent. There's grapefruit in it, white peach, apricot, and then there's jasmine, peppermint, sandalwood, musk. It's really pretty. Probably of all the candles I received, I think this one is my favorite. This is Butterfly Effect. It has roseberry, violet jasmine, musk, amber, and sandalwood. So it's obviously a really pretty pink candle, but it also smells really, really nice too. This is my favorite kind of scent. It's got everything that I love all in one candle. And then the other two that I got are Bad and Boozy and also Cloud Dream. This one is kind of like a nice, sexy, almost like a darker scent. It's one of those that like, I could see this being in a bar and it would make the bar smell really, really nice. You know what I'm talking about? And then this one is Cloud Dream, also beautiful, creamy butter, lychee, apple, strawberry, sugar, plum, vanilla, mmm. This one's really, really nice too. I just love candles, but what I truly love about this brand and what Jackie's doing is that she makes sure that this is, you know, like a brand that also represents black women. She puts them at the forefront of all of her marketing and everything. And, you know, I, I saw something recently where Jackie posted about how she always just wants to make sure that black women feel good and bougie. Like this is like their opportunity to, you know, like own it and just be, you know, just like live it, you know, and treat yourself and be part of all of this too. And I just love that she does that. I love that she's using her platform to not just focus on herself, the way so many of us can really like go that route. She instead is like, you know what? I have a voice now, and I'm gonna use it. And I'm gonna use it to make everyone feel bougie. I am so pumped about this product. So this product is the Curel Japan Moisture Facial Milk. This stuff is amazing. If you are a fan of the Laneige Cream Skin Toner, you're going to love this. So it feels like milk. It is very, very milky. It's more like a serum because it's so watery, but it moisturizes your skin so well. It's, it's kind of like unbelievable. I love this stuff. There aren't any like really notable ingredients in here. There's, you know, like glycerin, there are nice emollients, there is, you know, elantuin. There are just nice ingredients in here. But what makes it truly amazing is that it has this really beautiful milky texture to it. You put it on and it just feels so light on your skin. And I think that it's a great product for the summertime specifically. On the website, it says that it's for people with dry sensitive skin, but I actually think that all skin types will really love it. As long as you adjust it to your specific skincare routine. Like for me, I can layer this with all of my other serums and moisturizers and I'm fine because I have dry skin. But like if you have oily skin or something, you could probably put on a hydrating serum and and top it with this and it will feel 
so nice on your skin. Just so, so nice. And I also think it would be a really great like barrier repair product to add into your skincare routine also. Next up, mascara. I have been using a lot of drugstore mascaras just to kind of get a feel of what's out there. Mascara is one of those products that I feel like you really don't have to spend a lot of money to find a nice one. So this one is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. I specifically got this one because it has gone viral on TikTok and people are raving about it. It also has the kind of formula that I tend to like, and that is it's a formula for lengthening your lashes and the brush specifically is made to lengthen your lashes. It's supposed to give some lift also, but mostly it's all for lengthening and lifting your lashes. Whereas like some people really love the mascaras that give you a lot of volume and everything. And that's not really my style because it looks too clumpy on me and I just don't think I have the eyes for it. But this mascara, this is amazing. I have seen some people, like I posted about it on Instagram and I saw some people comment that they love it. And then I saw some people say that they, it just like didn't work out for them. I think it's because it's not the right mascara for you. If you don't want a lengthening mascara, if you want a volumizing mascara, then this isn't gonna be the one. But if you like a lengthening mascara with a molded, really flexible brush, this is it. It also is just interesting in how it, comes off of your lashes too when you wash your face at night. I definitely still use my oil cleanser to get it off. It's not like tubing mascara where it comes off in these little pieces, but it doesn't smear all over your face either. It actually does kind of like come off in a very similar way. <laughs> Felicia on my team has this mascara too, and she says that she just removes it with water. So I haven't tried that yet just because I always oil cleanse at night, but I don't doubt that she's, that she's right. It's very, very interesting. It gives you such long lashes. It doesn't flake, it doesn't smudge. It's a really nice mascara. Next up, you gotta love a nice fancy lipstick. You know I love lipstick. I love lipstick. You do not have to spend a lot of money on lipstick, but if there's a product that I like to treat myself on, it's sometimes a lipstick, and this is by Gucci. This is their newer lipstick called Rouge de Beauté Brilliant. I have a few of the different colors, and I actually talked about it in a video on mixed makeup where we did wedding day makeup, and Nikki, my makeup artist, shared a lot of her tips and stuff. She did this beautiful makeup look on me. We talked about, you know, like, the beauty look that I had on my actual wedding day 10 years ago. And you know, one of the things that I really feel strongly about is that as the bride, you should have your lipstick. Like you should own your lipstick. Even if you have a makeup artist, you should make sure that you coordinate with your makeup artist and get the right lipstick. And I suggested this one because it feels kind of like a really nice lip balm on your lips. And I know like most people will go for like a liquid lipstick, which works also. But if you don't wanna have like such a bold look, if you don't want to have that like crusty, you know, like dry mouth look after you've been like talking and stuff like that, then this is a good way to go. You just wanna make sure that you have lip liner on underneath it so that it one helps it stay longer, that color. But these are also almost like lip balms. They're really sheer and they give you this nice, healthy, glowy look to your lips. They're so pretty. I have like one in my purse, one on my desk. They're so nice, I almost use them like lip balms. Like you just reapply and your lips just feel nice and nourished and have this beautiful color to them. Another drugstore favorite. I had no idea I was gonna love this stuff as much as I do. This is also by Maybelline. Maybelline killing it, huh? Brow Fast Sculpt. I love brow products in general. I especially love brow gels that make your brows just look like they're fuller, they look like they're groomed and they stay in place and everything. I love this stuff. I would actually say I love this more than like, you know, everyone talks about like that Anastasia, the one in the jar that's like a jelly and people talk about, you know, all these different, you know, brow gels. This is amazing. I got the color Soft Brown. I love this brush. It reminds me sort of of like the Benefit one where it's got like some long bristles and then short bristles. It's a really nice soft, literally a soft brown color, which looks really natural. It gives just enough tint to your brows where you don't have to fill your brows in. I love this on the weekends, especially when I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. I put on like my tinted moisturizer. I put on a little bit of like cream blush do my brows, some mascara, lip balm, and I'm good to go. This stuff holds your brows up really well too. So much better than some of these other products that are really popular right now. This stuff holds my brows up. Like it's, they stay up, like you touch them, they're a little bit crispy. If you don't like that feeling, be aware. I love that feeling. It means to me that my brows are staying up all day. So I love this stuff, it's so good. 
And then the last of my favorite beauty products right now, this is from Tan Lux. It is their Super Glow Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum. I put this in my favorite self tanners video. I shot that actually more than a month ago. And so I've really like whittled it down to self tanners that I love even more so. And this is definitely rising up more and more because I use it so much. It's so easy to add into your skincare routine. You can use it morning or night. It's a gradual tan that it gives you. It's basically like a hydrating serum for your skin, which I actually saw a few people comment asking if I knew of any self tanners for the face that don't dry your skin out. This absolutely hydrates your skin. It is so nice feeling. It's so light. Like I said, it's so easy to use. I put this all over my face. I do not think twice about how I'm applying it because it's so gradual. And I just love the beautiful glow that it has been giving me. It's really a nice product. I actually am starting to think that Tan Lux might be my favorite of all the self tanning brands. I did try Loving You recently. I've got thoughts about it. I love the color that it gave me. It's just a little bit more pro to use. I'll talk about it later once I've got a better handle of it, but so far, Tan Lux is killing the game. So those are my June favorites. Tell me in the comments if you've tried any of these products, if you're buying any of it, what type of products you want me to talk about next. I kind of want to do some like shopping videos and stuff. I really, I, I'm telling you, I have this itch to shop because it feels like I was almost on like a shopping diet for the past year and a half, and now I'm like, woo, let's do this, let's go shopping. I just want to shop every single day, within reason, obviously. But I'm into it. Let's shop, you guys. Tell me what you want me to buy next. So I'll go out and buy it probably. I'm really into it right now. Find me on Instagram. I'm at Susan Yara. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.